Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to The Trouble with Bubbles. This is Planet Coaster, and that was backwards. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Planet Coaster. This is The Trouble with Bubbles, and we are headed back into our Night Encounters career. Now, I got interrupted yesterday of trying to film a video, so there's a little bit done in this that's already done that was not done at the end of the last episode we started building our information booths and adding our lines and our profits tanked so we're gonna figure out what went wrong and try to finish this career once and for all so we have a new information booth right here that we've just built that's not been edited at all and we've got one right here as well that was a prefab that they gave us and so we've added priority lines here here and here I'm not sure why this one won't let me make it orange but there we go perfect But now we need to add a couple more priority pass lines on this side of the park. Oh my goodness. All three of these rides are empty. What's going on? Ew, I stepped in sick. We have two janitors I guess we should hire another one and put him back here clean up all that and go through this new section then add a bunch of trash bins I'm not sure what's causing the discord. It hasn't really told us what's really pissing everyone off. No gift shops. Stepped in sick. Do we have a gift shop? We don't have any type of gift shop. ATM, food, first aid, drinks, information, pizza, and tiki cheeky. Alright, well, let's. I guess we'll research a gift shop. Hat's fantastic. 200 a month. So I'm going to take prices of the rides further into the park way down. So we got that one for $6. That one for $6.90. And this one for $5.70. Now where's our janitor and why is he not over here? Can I train the new janitor yet? No. Alright. Up the training on the old janitors. The problem is... We're running out of money... To pay... All of these... Staff members. But we're at our minimum for janitors and mechanics and if we close any of our restaurants well people will get upset All right I need the janitor where did he go I just saw him I want him to go where I'm pointing Well, I guess he'll get over there eventually. 
Can I train you yet? No, October 31st. All right. So let's bump things up for a minute and see if we get any more traffic back here. I mean, we do have a shit ton of rides in the park. Oh, there's people using the priority pass. Let's see what the general consensus of people is. Park is great. Stepped in sick. Restroom is free. Rocktopus is a good value. Prize, there's no gift shops. So people are still sad that there's no gift shops and sad that they're stepping in vomit. Well, I've got three. Insanity 5 has broken down. That must be over here. Alright, hurry up and fix that. Alright, how's our new ride doing? Not too bad. Lifetime profit, less than 5,000. Woohoo, monthly profit, 700. So, we're officially a failing park. I feel like... If we just leave it sit for a full cycle and don't do anything, maybe we'll get an upgrade. Or maybe things will start to, to look up. But... So we've got... We only have one bathroom and it's way up here. So I'm surprised people aren't complaining about that. Our gift shop is almost researched. There it is. Hot's fantastic. And we'll research Looney Bloons. Alright. So we're going to build ourselves a prefab Hat's fantastic just to to save time in this episode. It's a really big building for a little hat store. But look at that influx of people. I'm glad I put it on a main road where everybody's gonna get clogged up. All right. Let's try this instead. I'll move that bin now that I've got the path in place. Put the bin right here instead. There we go. That's fantastic. It's back open for business. Let's get a little more scenery. Whoa. Um, props. Lights. You know me. I love lighting. Alright, so we're losing money on rides now. It's official. Ride running costs are almost 8,000 and profits are 9,000. Why are our running costs so high? Hmm. Let's check out a ride. Monthly running costs four hundred and fifty. Potential monthly potential monthly income almost a thousand. Why are we have things breaking down? Hmm. New research project. Looney Bloons! 
Just a momento. So we're we're not in a good place. Check on these rides. Monthly potential income sixty. All right, you know what? We're gonna clear out this block for the time period and leave this side of the park closed because. Potential monthly income. There. Raise that one up. That one's higher than the riding cost. This one's higher than the running cost. This one's not much higher, so. I'm trying to boost. I don't want to boost the ticket prices so much. This one is not running well at all so we'll pull that out and we'll put something new over there um, let's put another one of those really big motherfuckers uh, this one do I have enough to build this yes and place entrance where is the exit the exit must have been over here And then connect this to the path. Why is that not one of Oh, because the path is over here. Alright, so stop it. Place exit. Move exit to there. Perfect. Now we open this bad boy up. We check on its potential. It's not going to have a potential until we get some people. We got our new Just a Memento shop brand. Sci-fi gift shop. Let's see if there's a nice plot of land right here where we can put our sci-fi gift shop. Just a momento. Just a momento. All right, now it's time to check on our employees. All right, we're definitely going to run out of money pretty quickly and possibly even fail this triumphant planet coaster mission. But I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm probably going to go in after I post this episode and try to make everything right before I come in for the next part so we can try to wrap it up in the next part. I didn't mean to make this series this long. I wanted to try some other missions where we actually got to build coasters instead of just thrill rides. But I hope you guys have enjoyed so far the Night Encounters career with the Trouble with Bubbles. Have a great day.